ser uña y mugre. <laughs> ser uña y mugre. The literal translation is to be nail and dirt slash filth. Nail, we're not talking about the metal nails. You know, we're talking about uña, which means fingernail, okay? Or toenail, depends what, which one, but uh, usually it means nail. La uña, and the, the nail, okay? Ser uña, ser, we see this common verb again. Ser means to be, uña, uña, nail, y, and, mugre, mugre, means dirt, when something looks dirty, right, mugre, or dirt, rather, and also it means filth, okay, we're not talking about dirt that you use for, you know, soil, like when you use, uh, when you uh, use that for plants or something like that, we're not talking about that. We, we're talking about something dirty, something filthy. Uh, but mugre means dirt, filth. Okay. So, were we talking about a nail, a fingernail, and some fil filth? Like, what are we saying here? What's the real meaning of this phrase? This means to be always together, not to be always dirty or <laughs> filthy. We're talking about uh, people being always together. Usually two people. One is the nail and the other one is the dirt. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not impolite. It's not rude. This phrase is it's not rude. But you know, uh, when kids play a, a lot, they get you know like dirt under their uh, fingers uh, fingernails so <laughs> you know that they were playing <laughs> you know you really know they were playing um so that's what this refers to when you have a nail and some filth under it um i'm not sure why they use this phrase but um it's a common one to just to refer to really good friends, you know, best friends that are always together. They're going everywhere together. Uh, so, for example, I could say, Maria y Carolina son uña y mugre. <laughs> Maria y Carolina son uña y mugre. Why? <laughs> Nunca se pelean. Nunca se pelean. Okay, so this means Maria and Carolina. Carolina is a common name, a first name in Latin America. And probably in Spain, but I know for sure in Latin America. Um, Maria and Carolina are always together. So it's similar to saying that. You know, that they're always together. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a good thing, I think. <laughs> they they never fight. Okay. So, let's break this down. We have, obviously, two people because we're talking about uña and mugre. Uh, but not in a bad way. <laughs> in a positive way. Maria y Carolina. Maria and Carolina. Son... Son is this right here, conjugated. Son, ellas son, okay. Uña y mugre. The rest of the phrase, uh, which means they're always together, okay. Always together. They're always together. Nunca, nunca means never. Se pelean. Uh, they fight. So, se, so technically you're saying ellas nunca se pelean, but we don't need ellas. And we need se though. We need this pronoun. Nunca se pelean. Okay? They never fight. That's what this means. Um, so, they're, they're 
super best friends. They never fight. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> BFFs forever. Okay. It's BFF. BFF. Is it BF? Best friends forever. BFFs. Because I said best friends. BFFs forever. And I, I don't need to say forever. That's what it means, right? Best friends forever. BFFs. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so this is a funny, funny phrase, <laughs> I guess. We're talking about dirty fingernails <laughs> and we're referring to best friends. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm.